Okay, um, first of all, let's start with this. Uh, five rounds left to go. Uh, what's your mindset heading into the final part of the season? Um, for me, just uh, try and keep improving. Obviously, I want my goal is to win races, and if I can win some more before the season's over, that's my goal. Um, but overall, just kind of trying to do my best and keep improving, especially because I'm pretty far back at this point in the championship. But you know, I just gotta go out there and do my best and uh, try and put in consistent rides and ride the best I can. Does that mean that you you know you're not thinking about the championship at this point? Like at the moment, you're just focusing week to week and whatever happens happens. Yeah, yeah. It's not like I've given up on it, but at this point, I just gotta go out there and like we always say, ride as good as I possibly can and that's uh, my mindset. I know if I can do that, we'll be good. So um, yeah, just having fun. I'm excited to be back here in Atlanta. I love the Speedway track, especially this one. Um, it's pretty busy and it's got a lot of options, so I'm excited. And um, speaking of that, looking back on the season, what would you say is the one point where you were riding your best and then maybe your worst? Honestly, I feel like my riding hasn't really been, uh, been an issue. I've always had speed. Um, my riding has felt really good. Obviously the mistakes have been there, but uh, I feel like my riding has been pretty consistent. I feel like I'm still improving. So that's uh, positive and looking forward to keeping that thing going. How can you still improve? Like you're clearly at the top of the game. So like, how is it even possible to go further than that? Yeah, I just gotta um, obviously limit the mistakes. It's uh, cost me a lot this year, but um, Rome's not built in a day. So I just gotta keep trying and uh, I feel like I've been getting better. So if I can keep doing that and just keep improving, that's like I said, my main goal and it's, uh, it's about the journey, obviously, not the destination. So looking forward to that and, uh, like I said, just improve. And um, last thing, in Seattle, we spoke about how your starts had kind of gone away a little bit. And then since then, I feel like they've gone away a little bit more. Yeah. So what, what's going on? Well, last week, they were actually, uh, my first start wasn't good, but the second, the last two were good. I would have probably been second off the last start, obviously, but um, got a little bit of carnage. So I uh, was pretty far back, but I was probably second off that start. So I think, that start in particular was uh, really slick and I was getting more wheel spin, but the last couple of races we should have good traction and um, my starts have actually felt the best they've been the last two weeks. So um, I'm looking forward to this weekend and getting off to a good start and uh, getting some clear track. Obviously we're more than halfway into your rookie season now. Honestly, have you surprised yourself with how well, well this has gone? Like, did you expect this from yourself? Yeah, definitely. I mean, shoot, uh, I wasn't expecting to even be in the top 10 after the first round, and I surprised myself there. And now we have two podiums uh, in my rookie season, which has been big for me because there's a lot of fast guys, Hunter Lawrence, Nate Thrasher, Jordan Smith. I mean, even Anstey, like these guys at Martin, they're going fast. They're fast riders. Uh, like, uh, it's definitely, you got to be on top of your game when you're racing out here. And, uh, I mean, the, all my training with Swanee and the whole team has just been great. And uh, I think we've kind of proven that, you know, I'm here to pin in work, and we've been doing that. So uh, now it's just trying to get a little better because uh, Hunter, Nate, they're just they're they're better right now. They're a little faster. They have a little a uh, little bit of an advantage on me right now with speed. So I just got to keep getting that, working on that, and uh, just keep trying to close it up. <laughs> was um was the little break that we just had useful for you? Because obviously you jumped in and it was bang 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 race race race. Yeah. So was the break useful to kind of recharge a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Riding outdoors has uh, helped me a little bit. You know, get my my fast speed back going fast on an outdoor track you go back on the supercross track and you want to go a little faster because it feels like you're going so slow right yeah. going from outdoor to supercross so uh yeah we've gotten uh i'm feeling good on supercross we did a little bit of a little bit of changes to get the bike a little better in the whoops and stuff so hopefully we can relay that here and um what do you think your weakness has been so been so far like is there one thing that you just can't get right no matter how hard you try yeah, I mean, it's just kind of been the whoops. My rookie season, I feel like that's probably a problem for most guys on the rookie season is getting the whoops styled. And uh, I feel like I've done pretty good so far in the whoops. I've, I've had a fall in the whoops, though. But that one was uh, through a rut, so it wasn't really that uh, that bad. But, yeah, just trying to get the whoops styled because that's a, a make or break in the whoops. As uh, I mean, Christian Craig was the fastest in the whoops, and he made passes there every lap. So that was kind of a uh, you want to be good in the whoops. You can excel good on Supercross if you're good in the whoops. And, uh being my rookie season, it's just, you know, learning the whoops, getting those dialed, and uh, just continue to get better on them. And um, last thing, do you have any specific goals for the next couple of weeks, or are you just sticking to the same plan of learn and take what you can get? Yeah, I definitely have goals, because we still got four rounds left, and it's still uh, a lot of racing left. We still got a lot of heat races, we still got a lot of mains, so, yeah, I have some goals, and, uh, yeah, getting those podiums, though, I marked off a big goal, so, uh, yeah, we're just going to go try and uh, achieve a little bit more goals uh, these next four rounds. 
Um, we're back after a couple of weeks off. What have you been working on since Detroit, uh, bike-wise and yourself-wise? Wow, it's been a, it's been a good month to be honest. Uh, most of the guys have been riding outdoors. So um, for me, I, I had a I had a week off and then just got straight back into Supercross. We um, ended up um, Marty ended up doing a load of testing with the bike and they found I have more power there on the dyno wide open. Then um, then I had loads of suspension stuff to test from from FC um, dating back from about about Daytona time. They came up with a few new settings, but I just didn't have proper time to test it in the in the weeks of in between races so um finalized that and just done a bit of fine tuning um and for me um just doing my laps I, I was just getting some getting some 20s in getting some getting some motos in and um feeling pretty good you know everything's um running along quite nicely everything's ticking along quite nicely now and um i'm looking forward to it here i mean the weather it was a bit wet now but i think tomorrow it'll be good so um Looking forward to it. Obviously, like you say, everyone else was riding outdoors and you would be any other year. So do you feel like a little bit burnt out on Supercross? Like, do you feel like you could have done with that outdoor break just to refresh yourself a little bit? Oh, mate, I've done, I've done eight or nine years of MXGP, 365 days a year doing outdoors, riding around way more gnarly tracks than what they can ever ride in, in America if you're in the freezing cold at Dunkirk or, or Lommel or wherever. Mate, I'm just loving Supercross, and and uh, and I, I've missed out on, on eight years or so of it. So I uh, every lap that I can do, it, it um, it's it's good for me. I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm really trying to just get my lap count in, and and um, you know, it's, it's actually something that I mean, I'm just thinking about it now. Back when I was I was training at 83 compound last year um, in 2022, Dazzy, um, the 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 boys' dad, Hunter and Jet's dad, was like, man, you've you've it's your laps. It's all about, you know, 2,000 laps and off-season or this or that or the other. And, and, and it's been nice for me to be able to just focus solely on Supercross and try and get that, that lap count up. And, um, and with that comes, you know, feeling and feeling good on Supercross track. So, no, I'm loving it. I'm definitely not burnt out of Supercross. There's new things for me to learn every single day that I'm out on the track. So I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it. And um, last thing, obviously you lost points in Detroit. Are you a type of guy who cares? Like, are you doing math, counting where you are, how you need to get back to the top three? Or do you not care and whatever happened will happen? Not really. I mean, I'd like to be on press days for the, for the ones that, that matter that you've got me in the top five. Um, but, um, but no, uh, it is what it is. I've been, uh, uh, these guys can go around. You guys go. Um, but yeah, uh, it, at the end of the day, there is another way out over there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but it doesn't matter too much, to be honest, for me, um, as far as it goes, um, as far as it goes with points, it is what it is. The only, the big thing that I did learn was that um, the, the 450 class and the 250 class are quite different when you're in the pack. Um, that was probably the first race in Detroit that I was that I was actually in the pack um, on the first lap and 450 class I was saying this to Dean the other day like 450 class you can be a few inches away from guys going through a rhythm section and you know that they're gonna hit their marks be straight go go straight basically and nothing stupid's gonna happen they start racing after the first half a lap or a first lap or whatever, if you're in the middle of the pack. Whereas um, 250 class, you have guys that are a little more sketchy, like going left, going right, going all over the place. So um, so as far as that goes, I don't know why I'm stood in the middle of the road here, but um, oh well, as far as that goes, it's, it's just figuring that out. But, but no, um, been, so, been solid. I've had a good, uh, good few weeks, felt like another little off season. Now we can go and bang out these last four rounds and um, yeah, get it done.